what is up you guys welcome to my channel sunrise for mondays so i wanted to make this video about how do we know if jesus is the truth right and i'm saying jesus specifically because ultimately that is what i want to put my focus on is what matters is jesus needs to be in the center of it and seeking jesus and building a relationship with, with him is what i want to talk about and why is that real why is jesus and not buddhism um real or why is your chakras you know not something that uh we should fully have faith in right why should we have faith in jesus and so the purpose of this video is for the unbelievers or for even believers of christ but are dipping their feet in other religions because they're just not sure if they should surrender fully to jesus right so um i want to just make a clarification video and maybe hopefully this video will help you understand why jesus is the truth and help you believe and have full faith and full surrender to jesus so let's get to it let's start off with the verse john 14 6 so jesus answers i'm the way i'm the truth i'm the life no one comes to the father through me this verse is john 14 6 and so that's pretty much going to be our bread for this video that's gonna be our the verse of this video right that's that's what we're gonna lay upon it so now we know through the word of god that jesus is the truth he is the life he is the answer and no one comes to the father through him which means no one goes through god through buddha he didn't say buddha he didn't say the god of venus he didn't say the gods of bananas all sorts of things they're out there so he only says it's through jesus right so you're probably were like okay well yeah so what like i don't even i don't even believe in the bible like why does that why should that even matter how do i even believe that how do i even know that's true you know you're probably like that verse means nothing to me and that's okay that's where we're making this video so how do we know if that's legit how can we prove that verse well, this sounds super simple and maybe even stupid to you guys, but the number one reason on finding out if Jesus is the truth is by asking God. G O D. Asking God. Now, this is going to be a little bit difficult and it might be even touching your pride because asking something that you can't see or feel or know if it's real feels kind of like stupid right it's kind of like talking to a wall you're like mm, am i being listened to like the answer is yes you are being listened to by god but i understand that that concept is difficult for a lot of people so i want you guys to honestly take a moment to yourselves the same way that we take a moment to send back a text the same way that we take a moment to poop the same way we take a moment to go on our instagram same way that we take a moment to go to the gym the same way we take a moment to do absolutely anything we can take a moment and ask god god is jesus real should i have should i have faith in jesus right so i'm 100 percent sure that if you ask that question with the true desire of knowing of wanting to know god will give you that desire of your heart i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys another verse that confirms that reality so basically in the bible jesus told his disciples ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find it knock and it will open this is matthew 7 7. so um basically if you are searching guys for the truth wholeheartedly it will be given to you so that's why the number one way of knowing if jesus is the truth is i always say just ask right take a moment and just ask god is jesus the way why is jesus real why is jesus like just ask and i'd say that you have literally nothing to lose by asking that question so just ask right the only thing that you may lose is sometimes your pride right because you're trying to seek out the answers and society has like how do i say this made us feel that like we're like stupid for asking you know like you know how you're in class and like you're afraid to ask that stupid question but guess what most of the times people are actually wondering the same thing 
that you're wondering but no one is willing to ask because they're scared to look stupid right but that's not who our god is god does not look at you and like oh, you're so stupid for asking me like how do you not know like god does not think like a human mind uh god is supernatural so he's not gonna have that same entirely as you and i will have reason number two on how do you know that jesus is real how do we know that jesus is actually the truth the person that i should be seeking to and finding truth in the second reason would be sometimes when you are following another uh, religion or seeking other things maybe it could be you're vegan completely and that's kind of like become your religion and like it has become you know all about the animals and that's fine that's good too right you can be vegan and love god i'm not saying that but sometimes when we pursue things wholeheartedly that is not jesus and we don't seek jesus at all you sometimes still feel lack of hope and rest restlessness right so when i was and i say this because when i was seeking god and i was in the new age doing my um, tarot cards calling psychics seeking mediums and i was still going to church i always felt like i had to continue to do the horoscopes like it, it was kind of like i never felt fully satisfied like there was just always like a hole missing and i always felt like looking for more and more and more and more and more and sometimes it's a huge sign that you're not putting your feet or your hands in the right place because you are lacking that you feel like you're lacking something and you don't really know what it is right so sometimes when we put our whole heart into something that's not jesus you're most likely going to feel a lack and a lack of hope so one thing that i can say leaving the new age completely not seeking any of those things i immediately felt a sense of like peace and a sense of like hope again like okay like i, I am gonna have eternal life with jesus right because that's what jesus promises is eternal life with him when we believe in him and seek him so um i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys another verse that supports this basically it's john 3 16 a very famous verse very well-known verse for god so loved the world that he sent his only son but whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life so that goes back that goes to my next point which is ultimately have faith so the first one is ask god if we want to know if jesus is real number two if you feel a lack of hope and restlessness and number three you need to have faith and that's easier said than done right so Christianity is actually the largest religion. Um, about 2.4 billion people are in Christianity. According to statistics, I'll put it, I put the link in the description below. But yes, 2.4 billion people are in Christianity. It, it is the world's largest billion um, religion. But here's the thing. It's crazy how it is also the most mocked, right? Celebrities, there's Halloween costumes with crosses and nuns and it's, it's megan fox you know posted a picture for halloween and and she was dressed as a nun i think and with her boyfriend and madonna too the kendrick lamar so it's just you know it's just in a, you put it into a perspective because we live in a society where everything is cancel culture so if i were to post a costume about being jewish or muslim and i'm holding you know the book of the quran or i'm having i have the little um I'm sorry, I don't I'm not well educated, but Jewish wear a small hat on their head. And if I were to wear that and make fun of that and be like, this is my Halloween costume, I'm Jewish, like if I were to do that, it's like disrespectful. But like when Party City or all these Halloween costumes are nuns or priests, it's like completely like fine, like we can laugh about it, it's totally okay. So it's like, it makes you wonder, like, why is Christianity the most mocked? Well, sometimes I have a theory, and I believe it's not a theory, I know, that it's because it's real, you know? It's, it's, it's no one, the society doesn't want you to, like, believe in something good and, and something that's pure and holy. Like, it's weird, right? It's weird to be holy. It's weird to wait for marriage. It's, it's weird to not curse. So it's like, it makes you wonder, like, why is this the most mocked? So just keep that in mind. Um... And I also want to read you guys this verse that uh, made me think a lot when while 
creating this video and writing my notes but pretty much says and demons also come out of many crying you are the son of god but he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the christ so it just makes you think like damn like demons tremble at the name of jesus you know i've never seen a movie of the exorcism where they're calling out allah right which is um the god of the muslims i've never it's it's like it's so heavily known that the word jesus is what heals and the word jesus is what actually makes the demons scared right so it kind of like if, G if the demons are scared of jesus like it's because there's something real about it something legit is happening there in the spiritual realm that with the word jesus they fly away and so this bible verse confirms that on acts 19 15 the evil it says but the evil spirit answered them jesus i know and paul i recognize but who are you crazy number four lastly is knowing christ and believing in christ will be producing good fruits good things will happen with the new good changes and sometimes it can be uncomfortable i'm not saying that your life is perfect and you're not going to have trials because you will have trials and it will be difficult to follow jesus but it does produce good characteristics of your personality right you want to become more generous you want to become more um helpful more loving more kind um and i'm not to say that oh you know because when i was doing the horoscopes i, I did it wasn't like i turned into a mean person or anything like that but my mentality and where my head was at was more towards the flesh and what i wanted versus what does our god want right and so that's the key thing that i have felt following god and, and jesus is that it's no longer about me right all these other new age and i can speak for for the new age because i don't i'm not well educated on the muslim or the jewish christian or, or the jewish religion but or other religions but when it comes to um the new age i know that it was so towards me 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 and how do i fixate that and how do i how do i get this relationship solved and what if like and mind you, like, there's been so many times where I've been trying to make something work and God's like, that's not supposed to work, right? But because I was into the new age, I forgot about, didn't want to know about what God wanted. It was about how do I satisfy my desires? And so knowing Jesus and following Jesus, that's what's going to happen is that it's no longer going to be about your desires. It's going to be about God and what does God want for your life. And that's a good thing because God knows best. So we sometimes think that we know best and we know everything, but that's not true, right? So... So yeah, so um, first reason, ask God. Number one main thing is ask him. Number two, you sometimes will feel a lack of hope and restlessness when you're not following Jesus. Number three, you need to have faith to know if he's real. And number four, when you believe in Jesus, you produce good fruits. So hopefully this helps you guys today. Um, I pray that you truly do seek and if you are in a i guess stage of your life where it's like yeah i'm seeking god but i'm still you know doing this or i'm, I'm still following this and i still you know want to know my tarot card readings and i want to know where my chakras are aligned and you know all i'm gonna say is continue seeking the lord this is not to judge you or condemn you that is not what i'm here for my what i'm here for to tell you is is that it is still worth seeking because that's what i did i never stopped seeking and so no one like told me i'm gonna go to hell and i'm so glad i, w I never was in that situation um because maybe i would have turned another route and maybe i would have been like oh screw you i'm gonna continue doing this you know my stubborn head would have probably saw it like that but because the people around me a lot had a lot of grace and love and just continue to push me to still seek god i'm gonna do the same thing for you guys i want you guys to continue seeking god if you're confused um, it's going to be hard and it might be confusing, but it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth asking God if he's real because Jesus will change your life and he will change the lives around you. Because once you carry that light within yourself because of Jesus, 
people are going to see that and people are going to question what do you have that they don't so yeah guys i really hope that this impacts you and if you have any questions feel free to drop your comments below i'm happy to help with anything that you guys are confused about and yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it like and subscribe if you guys want more content like this bye